Welcome back to Rain City. This is Them's Fighting Herds. And today we were going to go to complete a quest, but let's see some of these other houses. And it seems like this reindeer here thought we were somebody else with maple syrup or honey. And I am guessing this is material that makes this game not rated E. Uh, okay, yeah, let's just get out of here. Anyway, we were given the side quest to go through this basement to see some weird monsters, but, well, we were also going to answer some questions about my role as a potential champion to own him. But let's try solving the mystery of this haunted undercity. Wait, we're going through some basement and well with a mysterious key and I kind of want to make a joke that we are doing a lot better than Aaron Jaeger from Attack on Titan but I'm pretty sure he never got to fight wolves he did fight naked human people transformed into one too. And I'm pretty sure he didn't have horns like my character does. Which is proven to be pretty awesome for an ability, all things considered. Being able to literally shake the earth with my hooves is a big plus. Although, since I'm here, I kind of want to make a big deal that this should be some kind of help violation. But, I'm pretty sure that that's the point of this whole game. I'm the Thing who's supposed to make sure everything's all good in the world. Although, now that this game was supposed to be a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic fighting game, I kind of am wondering what kind of story that would have given this game. What would force all these other characters to fight each other? Because I kind of doubt Hasbro would have approved of that plan. And now I gotta fight this giant snake monster. Whoopee. The last one kind of sucked. And I'd rather not have to deal with stupid cuddles. Although it is pretty ironic that this time I'm fighting a giant snake with tiny wolf underlings rather than a giant wolf with tiny snake underlings. I am getting my f new collectibles for this chapter here though, which is nice. Well, now that we got one collectible there, 
I guess I'm getting more collectibles going forward. Alright. That old fast hidden throws. And seeing as this is a little for the uh, part where I got to showcase the arcade mode of the game. I guess it's obvious I've gotten some experience with using Arizona. Basically, hit things and hit them hard. Whether by head, foot, or, well, body slams. And now we even got this really old reindeer toy. And now we gotta deal with a cat. Well, we've dealt with cats before in arcade mode, but now this is new. Unfortunately, now I don't have any advantages like paralyzed prey, but I don't really need it just yet. Like, advanced moves, at least. And it looks like the new prey, or predator in this case, is gonna be the last thing I have to fight. Alright, kitty. I'll be playing with you. Eat it! And yeah, I it. Almost tried eating me, but that wasn't really too difficult. Oh, there had better be some big secrets in this basement. Although some help and magic is also very well and good. Uh, boy. And now it's one wolf, two lion, tiger. Okay. Dumb cat. Okay, now to deal with two cats. Okay, so I guess the thing about them fighting birds is that these shadow predators aren't, like, completely difficult, but given that this is Gauntlet, it's probably supposed to be some serious life sapping moments, but, well, looks like I'm going to have a big adventure here, so for now I will sign out and I will end this video once I finish beating up these different predators. So yeah, I will see you later. And if you are still watching at this point, please like and subscribe. I would be very appreciative if you did.